Okay guys, ever wondered what's in a brushless motor? More to the point, what's in this brushless castle motor? I've always wondered what is the power behind going faster that lurks within these things? Well, unfortunately, this castle motor, there's a shaft sheared off the top of it, just in normal straightforward running. So the motor is uh, pretty much useless at the minute. So I'm gonna take the camera down off the tripod, let's unscrew this thing and find out just what's inside a brushless motor, because I am intrigued. Okay guys, now before the excitement begins, I would warn you, it may not be that exciting when we see the inside of it, but I've no idea what's inside one. We've got three screws on the outside this end, and three screws on the top this at the other end. So, without more ado, it's just one of those things, I've always been intrigued as to what's inside them, but unless they break like this, you've never really got any point in taking them apart. I know um, you can't like Traxxas ones, you can buy uh, a Valenian kit whereby you can uh, redo the bushings and things inside the motors like that, uh, which I would love to do with my Valenian motor, and should anyone ever find it in my garage, I uh, would be most grateful. Okay, that's the three screws removed from that end. Three from the other plate. As I said, literally guys, I've never taken one of these apart before, but as it's broken with the shaft on that, and you can't see me by the shaft on its own on there, so a rather expensive mistake. This just went in straightforward running, it wasn't even doing a jump, the thing, the shaft just sheared off as the thing was running uh, on a level surface on there, not super hard gearing on there, super hard gearing putting any pressure on the motor whatsoever. So, what have we got? Okay, wiggling that off. bearing built in there that sort of lies the other side of it uh, armature on the inside of there this will probably turn out to be like horribly damaged inside or something this is a uh, sensor setup uh, we'll point out on there guys now I have undone those three screws and that and does not seem to want to move one iota now I'm not sure whether to push that down or pull it back to remove it. Obviously pulling it back is the right answer. So that is the core of our brushless motor on there. Now I have no idea if all these marks on there are good or bad. If that's from excess wear or dirt or not, I am not entirely certain on there. I will give that a quick blast of uh, nitro cleaner in a minute see if that comes off at all some scoring on there but it's difficult to tell is that wire i'm not quite sure guys anybody know the inside workings of a brushless motor please comment away in the comment section below I'm going to use richie's ubiquitous iphone to try and throw some light on the inside of that guys so you can see it there hopefully guys that gives you a little glimpse it's very very hard to get the light on there this is the uh, obviously all the wiring is on the outside of the motor rather than off the inside. I've got a little circuit board down the bottom there and I am interested to get that bottom end off. It doesn't seem to want to move in a hurry. Now guys, we're doing a bit of experimenting off screen. I have found the simplest way to remove this is in actual fact quite a brutal tap down like that, which removes the outer plate there. Again, I'll blast these clean in a minute. So we've got our, some microcircuitry on there and our bearing in the center there. And now, to the heart of the matter there guys, much better angle on it there, where you can see the winding on the outside of the motor, which traditionally, uh, a lot of younger guys probably don't even know this, old brush motors were the only thing you could buy. Growing up in the 80s and 90s, uh, there, there was no brushless option even on the horizon there. So the, all these wires were on the inside of the motor, lots of friction, uh, hence they used to run batteries down very fast and be very inefficient on there. Whereas this core now spins centrally within there and all the wiring is on the uh, outside. So there's, it, it's the motor's so that means the center of the motor is running virtually frictionlessly if you've got two very good bearings uh, on the end. But any kind of dirt buildup 
or crud that gets up inside the motor in between the armature here and the inside of the can. Well, I call this the armature, but they used to call that when it had the wires on it. So I'm not quite sure what you call that now, guys. But I just thought it would be interesting to show people the inside of what is a brushless motor. But uh, the shaft snapping off that one has uh, rendered like about a $90 motor absolutely useless. Anyway, I'm going to clean all this stuff up, come back to you in a second. Now, saying that I'm coming back to you in a second, guys, I'm going to use this Ma uh, Magnum Force 2 electronic cleaner uh, from Horizon Hobby. Don't worry about this stuff, it evaporates in seconds, guys, but the one thing I would say is have some tissue paper or something that's handy to clear away any crud from our thing on there. Now you will see on that little bit of rust on top of the circuit board there, nothing to worry about too much. I just thought it would be interesting for people to see what lies inside the castle motor. Not many people are going to take one of these things apart, let's face it guys. Okay, blasted the armature. Doesn't appear to be in too bad shape. It's very difficult to tell if this is scoring or is that wires on the inside of there. Anybody that knows about these things, uh, please do post away in the comment section below. Anyway, quick blast through the centre of the can. This is probably no bad thing to do, guys, if you've got a castle motor and it's been through like water or dirt or dust or grime. Probably not a bad thing to do once in a while. Anyway, I assume that's why they put the screws on there so you can clean the thing out. Ooh, see that muck. Now this motor, as seen, I wouldn't say a hard life, boys, but it's had a good workout, let's put it that way. So there we are, the insides, and the outsides, if you like, of a castle motor. So now you know what lies within your castle brushless motor, or any brushless motor, uh, come to that point. Now, not every brushless motor is going to have this electronic circuitry on here because this is the censored version on here. So a, a non-censored version or censored version isn't going to have those same electrics on there, but then it's going to be far simpler in its operation than this is far less to go wrong. Although in this case, the shaft braking was the thing that I had not anticipated uh, ever happening. And looking at that on my screwdriver on the counter, it's obviously magnetic. Whereas traditionally, the magnets used to be on the outside of the motor, with this, they're obviously on the inside of the motor. Anyway guys, my first thoughts were the, the inside of this thing was not going to be that interesting to look at, but I thought it might just be something that people would not see from day to day and might interest people. So there guys, now you know what's on the inside of a brushless motor, and more to the point, what's on the inside of a brushless castle censored motor. Fingers crossed, they're going to replace that one under warranty because that shaft braking, not ideal. Uh, but overall, highly, highly rate Castle products. But anyway, guys, I hope you found that of interest. It's the kind of thing you're not going to do from day to day. But look at that muck and grime build up in there. It would not be a bad idea to take your brushless motor apart and give it a blast of this stuff like once a month, once every couple of months. Just blast any dirt and grime out of there. Bit of tissue, bit of rag in there. Very simple to take apart, what, six screws in total on there. Anyway, very simple job to do. Use that Magnum Force or Nitro Cleaner, something like that. Bit of tissue paper like this. What have you got in there? Six screws to take apart? That's job that is not gonna be that hard to do once a month, twice a month, probably to protect your like $85, $90 Castle brushless motor investment. Anyway guys, Anybody got any comments or questions, anybody out there is an electronic engineer and can tell me exactly how a brushless motor works, would be most intrigued to hear from you. Yours truly is actually an electronic engineer, but I ain't got a clue how this thing works. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.